Number 1. Saturation Depth Effect First go to Filter, then Neural Filters. Choose Depth Blur and activate it. Then, select Output Depth Map Only, to get an alpha channel that shows the objects in black and white based on their distance. Click OK. Now, we want to put this alpha channel in the channel section. To do this, with the layer active, go to the channel section and duplicate one of the channels, like this. You can delete the alpha channel layer. Now go back to the channels. And then, hold down the control button, and click on the alpha channel, to active its selection. Now, with the selection active, create a hue saturation adjustment layer. Decrease the saturation. And as you can see, the saturation decreases based on the depth layer we've created. To make the depth more intense, you can select the layer mask, then go to image. Adjustments. Then curves, and then increase the contrast. And finally, you can create a hue saturation adjustment and slightly increase the saturation to give the image more impact. Number 2. Fake Camera Blur Effect To create a fake camera blur effect, first go to Filter, Neural Filters, and activate Depth Blur. Then, check the Output Depth Map Only. Click OK. Now, we want to put this alpha channel in the channel section. To do this, with the layer active, go to the channel section and duplicate one of the channels, like this. Duplicate the layer so you have an original version beneath it. Go to Filter, then Blur, and select Lens Blur. Make sure your layer is rasterized, otherwise the Lens Blur option won't work. To rasterize the layer, just right-click on it and select Rasterize Layer. Let's continue and choose Lens Blur. Now, you need to define a depth map to apply the lens blur effect on. Just select the depth map we just created, and you'll see the lens blur is applied. Now, just click on the area where you want to focus, to set the focal distance. You can also adjust the amount of blur by changing the radius option. Number 3. Enhancing the photo lighting quickly. Go to Select. Color Range. Set the Selection Preview to None. Pick one of the brightest parts of the image. Change the Selection Preview back to Grayscale. Adjust the fuzziness to define the amount of brightness that is selected. Hit OK. Go to Adjustment Layers and create a Curves Adjustment Layer. Then, increase the highlights to enhance the brighter areas of the image. Press and hold Ctrl and G to create a group from the Curves Adjustment layer you've created. Press and hold Alt, then click on the mask icon to fill it with black. This makes the layer disappear. Now, take the brush and with a flow of around 25%, bring back the areas you want. This is the before. And this is the after. Number 4. Light Streak Effect To quickly create a light streak effect for this car, first select part of the headlight like this. Then, press and hold Ctrl and J to place it on a separate layer. Scale it using the Transform and Perspective tools by pressing Ctrl and T. Hit Enter. Set the Blending Mode to Screen, so the appearance becomes more realistic. Go to Filter. Blur Gallery. Choose Field Blur. Place the first blur pin on the light source, and set its blur value to zero. Create another one and increase its blur value, then, place it at a farther point. Hit OK. Press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Flip it horizontally using Ctrl T. Place it over the left headlight. Select both and adjust the perspective again using Ctrl T. Group the layers using Ctrl G, press and hold Alt, then click on the mask icon to fill it with black. Now, take the brush and bring back the areas that should appear. Here's a quick recap of what we've accomplished.
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.